Hey guys, welcome to the value painting project. Um, so this project, uh, most of you are going to be doing in fresh paint, although if you prefer to do this on paper, um, that is totally fine. Um, but I'm going to be showing you in this video how to do this project in specifically in fresh paint. So um, this is an example of my almost finished painting um, of an ice cream cone using only six values six different shades of the color pink. So what you're gonna be doing here is you're gonna be picking a photo, um, you're gonna be picking a color, finding your value range, so the six different values from light to dark of that same color, and painting over your full color picture and kind of translating each color in your picture to a value on your value scale. So um, the first thing that you're going to need to do is find a picture. So um, let's say I want to paint a picture of a flower. I'm going to look in a Google image search. Um, so what you're looking for here, um, ideally a photograph, like a picture taken from a camera is your best bet. Um, if you feel really strongly about doing um, some kind of anime or other you know, drawn image, um, I do want to make sure you're looking for something that still has this, um, the value range that a photograph has. So, you know, you're looking, like, if you're looking for that, look for images that have, you know, a light source, that have shadows, um, as opposed to a kind of flat image with all solid colors separated by outlines. That would not work for this project. Um, you want something a little more realistic. Um, so I, I really like this picture. So um, once I find the picture I like, I'm going to right click on it and click Save Image As. Um, I like to put all of my pictures in my picture folder and give them a name I can remember. All right, so it's easy to find. Save. Now I'm going to open Fresh Paint back up. Um, so when you come into um, your uh, main screen here, you're going to click the red plus sign to make a new painting, fresh canvas. Um, and now I'm going to click this import button, right? So this yellow rectangle with the arrow, photos, find files. <clears throat> and now I'm going to find in my pictures folder, I called it flowers and grass. There we go. Open. Um, so before I click start painting, I do just want to move this over and make space for my value scale. Um, if you're if you have a wider picture and there isn't space, you can also reduce um, reduce the size of it and move it over. Um, I want you to have a place to put your your colors. So I'm going to click start painting now. Okay, for this project, I do want you to stay in the oil paints, right? That's the drawer that I have open now. Um, over here, we've got watercolors, and over here, we've got drawing tools. Um, but again, for this project, I want you staying in the oil paint drawer. Um, you have five different brushes. Um, they're each a different shape. Um, each one of them can be made bigger or smaller with the plus and minus size, um, signs. Um, so. Right now, I'm, I'm going to keep it a fairly large brush for my value scale. And I'm going to go to my color selector. And I don't want to pick my colors here. I want to pick my colors here in the infinite color chooser, as I call it. So <clears throat> um, I am going to choose one place along this rainbow that I want um, to leave this uh, this symbol here, um, and all of my colors that I choose will be you know a value variation of that color. So I think I'm gonna stick with orange here. So my my first value is not completely white. I want it like a slightly orangey white. All right, almost white, but with a hint of my color. I'm going to move mine 
just kind of moving it across that circle to get six different values. Um, <clears throat> right, and I'm hoping to get them kind of equidistant, right? So, so that they have about the same amount of difference from each other. And I want them to range from almost white to almost black. All right, so once I have my range, I'm gonna pause, take a look at it, um, make sure, you know, I think I maybe wanna make this one a little bit darker. And also spread this one out a little bit. All right, that looks pretty good to me. Um, so these are my six colors now. I'm not going to use any other colors in the whole painting. I am looking for, um, like I'm going to assign every color in my picture a value over here, um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna pause this uh, this demonstration, and um, I'll I'll tell you how to proceed in the next video. Thanks.